Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Terroir Season 2, which might not be a very long season because I'm already not doing well. Uh, RNG is treating me terribly, and I again got overexposed grapes, so I'm going to lose a star on this, as well as there was never foliage on these things, so it was, uh, it was pretty terrible. So again, we're going to have to do this whole thing with the waiting a long time before I can sell, which might really cause a problem for me here if uh, if I am unable to get this all corrected because I'm dropping money like crazy, repaying that loan that I took that was not very helpful. And here comes the rain, of course, which is very unfortunate. At least I know a combination for the Chardonnay that gets me back to where I'm at from a really terrible harvest, but it still is not that great. It's, uh... Yeah, because now I need to bottle it and let it sit for two months again. So we're November, December, so January I'll be able to... I'll be able to sell. So I should actually be okay. Come January, I'll be able to bottle this wine, but I'm not going to get too much out of it. It's part of the problem. Because, again, we're going to lose a star. This is going to be... This is going to be Martin W93's again. He's going to get two of these things. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost missed my, uh, my window there. Yeah, because I'm going to lose that one during the final rating. So let's bottle this. Let's put a cork on it this time, just because it still doesn't cost that much. <laughs> We're just going to call this, you know, the same exact wine as last time. Martin W93's, 93's second <laughs> Chardonnay 2021. Yeah, you get two of them because we already know exactly what this is going to be. Uh, boom, boom. Two-star ratings just should it should end up being a four. Yeah, it would have been a one or a five, but it's a four. So let's just do again 480. Let's do 200, 280 like that across the board. Um, the the extra bottles that I'm getting over here. Actually, let's just go 280 and go 80. But we'll sell you one, and you can have 199 just to keep you. Okay, I was just going to see if that helps the reputation that you have one bottle to sell from me. Uh, $6,882. I got to look at some of these placeables. Somebody told me that I missed stuff in these these ambient objects told me used in both sun basers and laborers for shade under the summer sun. Uh, camper shelter out in the woods. Before GPS there was signpost. Ah, instantly gain 10 renown. It costs 50 grand, though, for an instant 10 renown. So that's interesting to know. Uh, used to keep away um, whatever in vineyards to protect themselves from. Okay. Vessel for fermenting, placeable, special. Is that the only one that actually does something? Instantly gain 100 renown for $500,000. Okay, so placeables can get you renown. But nothing else. So there's still... I was never to the point in my last playthrough. Um, somebody commented that I hadn't read what things do and I could have like helped myself a lot more. But it was not in those objects. I, I don't think I ever had enough money that I could have done that. This is really bad. Really bad that they're out of my wines already. I only have 11 grand. Can you build up some freaking foliage, please, this season? Oh. They must have still sold some more. Maybe it's somebody was open. Yeah, somebody was open. Okay. So probably the guy that had the one bottle. He was able to sell for me. Mm, somebody else. I guess they just sell at different rates. So I'm okay right now this season. That is actually finally something nice. But let's trim you back one. Because I still need more. I need more ripeness. This is going to be a rainy season. Amazingly, these things are... We're getting so much rain this season that I am not to the ripeness I want to be at yet. I don't want to let these things get overexposed. Oh, no. Fungal rot. Let's see. Okay, good. I got rid of the... Uh, I got rid of that. Can we please raise this thing up? I, I am not going to... I'm not going to harvest yet. A three. I don't think I can fix a three. October. Uh, 
Oh, uh, November's got to be... Oh, no. I don't like that fungal rot. November. It's going to be dark. Shoot. I got I to gotta harvest. Okay. So my sweetness is low, which is kind of a problem right now. My tannins are also extremely low. So I really don't know what's going to happen here to this wine. Again, we're in new territory that I think is going to be not necessarily good ter ter territory. Decreases sweetness. I don't want to decrease my sweetness at all. So I need to do that right away. Uh, my acidity, I don't need, or I want to increase it to six. So this won't be terrible. This will increase it to six. I don't know if that'll do anything to the body. Six, five, six, six. Okay, so this is going to be okay. Do I have a six, five, six, six yet? I do not. So we'll just do French oak. And what I can do is I can pretty much get this right away being sold. So let's go six, five, six, six. Since this is a new one, there's nothing special about this. Let's bottle this one. So we're on a new territory here, which is great. So Mike Spam, TF2. Choose uh, new. It's the new Chardonnay that you got. So Mike Span, Mike Span, it's Mike Spam. I got you, Mike. Don't you worry. So bottle. I think I just put a screw cap on that too. Let's see what you guys think about this one. Five star wine, excellent. So even with a five of sweetness, you gave me a five star wine. So 40, 40 a bottle, and we actually have a decent amount of bottles this time. So this is fantastic. So I'm gonna sell most. See, I'm losing ratings with you because I didn't sell uh, those. Though you like to, you want. Oh, you're the guy that buys all my wines. You just buy it at more money. I'm gonna give you 810 so I can get some more money. I'm gonna give you 270. And I'm gonna give you nothing. That's how we're going to sell this one. So that should actually get me some money, which is going to be fantastic. I'd eventually like to get a third loam that uh, I can utilize here for the Chardonnay as well before I move over to making some cab or even something that yields more because the more expensive plots yield more. I just don't know enough about them yet. I need to have a nice money, money thing going on before I can do anything there. But now I just gotta wait through this part of the season, which normally I'd be, I'd be still fermenting. But my wine actually turned out good in the first place. I didn't have to do a lot of corrections to said wine. So here we go. We definitely need to trim you back right now because you are still at a one. So my yield is getting to be really good. You do have that fungal rot. Let's trim you down and see if we can get rid of that fungal rot. <laughs> see if we can get some ripeness in this at all. We're June. It should really start. If I get any sunny days, it should really jump up. That fungal rot hurts. It's really killing my yield. You're killing my yield, man. Look at that money. Finally, money's coming in. I'm trying to get rid of this fungal rot, and I don't know if you do it by... Okay, the fungal rot is gone, so it actually would be beneficial for me to wait right now another month, except now they're overexposed to the sun. Okay, it's not overexposed anymore. I'm just going to do it. Uh, ooh. Okay, this is going to be one of those long processes. We know how to do this one. We know how to fix this one. Which is kind of annoying that I have to. I don't know why at just an 8 ripeness everything was so terrible. Um, so we need to let this sit for the two months that it needs to sit for. Finally, we're working our way into a better wine. And by that I mean I'm building money to get a better wine. <laughs> is really what I'm doing. I was trying to get a, a bunch of bottles from these guys. To be able to utilize... So I'm going to put 70% of the pressed juice in here. And then we're going to let it age in the oak barrel for two months. So over in March. I don't think it was. It was already January when I started that, right? Oh, no, it wasn't. So good thing I looked at that in February. 
I will need to get on the ball here to get these going. What am I doing? I was, I was like watching it turn to February and look at that. It's buttery as well. So this is going to be a great one. We're going to go with the cork. Make sure I can sell it for max efficiency and money here. And we're going to go with the constant sorrow. Sorrows. Buttery Chardonnay. Okay, let's go to organize this tasting. Do I have some high class? Oh, I got a three star. Three, two, two. Five star, $50.60. Per person, let's or per bottle, let's sell this stuff here. I got that rating back up. Oh, this makes me so happy. We're just gonna go 400 across the board to all these distributors. We're gonna sell that. Be done. And now that I have so much extra money, and I will be making some more money, let do I? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna plant on this one some more. Chardonnay, I can't do it yet. I need to wait till some of this money comes in. I lost a lot of money there. There we go. I just sold a lot. Plant more shard. Now the question is, will that be counted in this yield or not? I still should have some money coming in, but now I've got three and I've got, what is this next to it? It's a forest. What does the forest actually do? Grants a percent bonus to the adjacent vine's fertility. Interesting. I have to get these things down all the way here. To try to get that, uh... I need to get this fungal rot to go away. Don't mess with my yields here. We got a four. The fungal rot went away. I don't want these to get overexposed to the sun now is the problem. Come on, let me sell, 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 let me sell. Let me sell. An eight! Damn it. So once you get up to an eight, like seven is your sweet spot. Eight is the terrible spot. But did you see that, um, that yield? The yield was huge. So though it's going to take a long time for me to get there, uh, because I need to put this thing in for the two months, we are going to have a nice big yield off of these three fields. We're going to sell a lot of bottles of this wine, and we're going to make some good money going on here. I would say once I have $100,000, I will feel safe on buying other and getting other types of wine as well, because it will just be a lot a lot better. Like, it's kind of boring to be doing the exact same thing every single time, but uh, I mean, I know this particular wine, I know how to do it, so it's November. Let me make sure it actually didn't tick a month already. Nope. So, Jan in January, we gotta sell this stuff. I did say after 10 years, I should probably actually go and pay off that loan. So there we go. It's not buttery, which is kind of annoying, but uh, well, let's do this one. Cork it in uh, this white bottle. And here we go. So, hey, DJ, 730s. <laughs> basic. It's just a basic shard. That's all it is. The basic shard. Let's organize this tasting. Let's see if we can get some high class. Uh, all three, or no, two threes and a two. And it's still a five star wine, so that is excellent. So let's sell it. To, um, you're selling it for the most money, so I want to give you a thousand. I want to give you 400 and you 520. Keep those distributor ratings high. Done. Close that. And now we go rocking on through. This actually probably will put me up to that 100,000 uh, category. What if I go to the bank? How much more do I have to pay back? Total loan amount 9160. 1,670, yes. Yeah, so let's just repay it. I want to be done with that loan. I don't want to have to deal with it anymore. I don't know if it saves you on the interest by doing it that way or if it calculated the interest up front and that's all you really had. But I do have 81,000 
129,000. This is fantastic. We run through one more season, then the next episode is going to be great. Except that there's fruit flies that I don't know how to get rid of the fruit flies. I think you have to research something about getting rid of fruit flies. So this is kind of annoying because the entire variety is decreased by 10% every month. Ugh. What are we at a six? I like that actually. I just want to keep these at the optimal. So what can I do? What if I just trim two of them down? Will my ripeness go up? No. Because I need this to increase. Yeah, we're way too low right now. Four. Five. You need to get up to a six. We're in October. November. You're not going to increase, are you? You're not. So... Oh, I got the canopy management, which is good, but it's at 5655. So right now, with 5655, I need to crush it like this. And then, what do we need to do to this particular wine? I don't want to decrease the sweetness at all. Sweetness is good at a six, so we're just going to go less than two weeks. Then I want to add. Uh, yeah, I think I just add 10% acidity and do a 6676, which I've got a couple of those on here that are, yeah, this is perfect. So what we can do is we can sell this thing. It's in the uh, French oak barrel, common French oak. We are going to be ending the episode on this particular wine. So I'm not going to even name it after anybody except myself. And let's hope that it is a good wine. We will buy another field. Wait, can you change this? Cost per bottle, five dollars. Total bottling cost six hundred. Oh, you can bottle it in different So what if I do ten in this one? You can bottle some of the wine? I'm just gonna I'm gonna bottle some of the wine right now. Oh yeah! So I can bottle I can make two different yields out of this? Now the question is, is this two different? My Renown is at 23. Let's, they both have this really good combination management. So what if I give you three star ratings across the board? So can I just bottle one to do a taste test to see how it comes out? It's a five star wine right there. So we're now went to, from 23 to 27 because it added four. Now, if I go to organize a tasting for this one, which is the exact same wine. Oh, I have a four star guy now. Uh, I'm gonna just, just for experiment, I'm going the just the three star guys. Oh my God. You can split your wine into batches and get extra renown. That's like the cheatiest way to play this game. And I'm going to utilize that in every way, shape, and form. See, the biggest problem I have here now is I have two of these and I have 1,200 of this guy. So if I gave you like, I'm gonna give all 1,200 to you for this wine. Um, and, oh shoot, I can't do that. What, oh, excuse me, all 1,200 to you and zero to you. And then I will sell that. I'm gonna lose my ranking with those people, but I wanna sell this one now. I didn't lose my ranking to 600 and 600 across the board. That's insane. I had no idea that you could do that. Like, look at, I can so get this renown up where I need to get it to. This game is going very smoothly, but it's because I'm using one particular type of wine that I know how to do. But I experimented with something and found that thing out about splitting the bottles. That's very interesting. So you can actually just run your Chardonnay all season long and split it into like five different batches if you wanted to. And that gives you 
If you have a five star Chardonnay, you can get 20 renown from one season. Holy shit. That's crazy. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Terroir. Season's actually turning around. We're doing well. I will see you guys next time.